looking to pick up your very own custom sleeves well look no further go to yourplaymat.com where you can choose to have your very own image on the back of sleeves or you can choose from their amazing range of pre-designed artwork ready and waiting for you get them shipped directly to your door and use the affiliate link and discount code down below to get 10% off what are you waiting for go and grab your custom sleeves from yourplaymat.com Good morning YouTube, Dal here from Zephyr War Games, and today we have the final art type from the Grand Creator set and it is of course the Exo Sisters revolving around Exocism. So we're going to dive straight first into this one. If you do want to be staying up to date with all of the Yu-Gi-Oh news then please smash that like button, hit the notification bell and subscribe so you do not miss out on any more coming from the channel. With all of that out of the way, let's dive headfirst into the first card. Now, all of the main effect, uh, main deck effect monsters are level four light spellcasters. All of the extra deck XYZs are level uh, rank four warriors, and they all share for the main decks the same second effect. That if a card or cards leaves any graveyard by an opponent's card, you can special summon an Exo Sister XYZ from your extra deck using that particular card as material. So getting into the specifics, we start off with Elise, and you can only can, uh, use the first and second effects once per turn. If you control an Exosister monster, you can special on this card from the hand. Then if you control Exosister Stella, you gain 800 life points. So who is Stella? Well, this is Stella. Uh, during your main phase, you can special on one Exosister monster from your hand. Then if you control Elise, which is the one beforehand, gain 800 life points you can kind of see how these two are the core cards already um because they get you a second um exo sister onto the board which means you can hard summon the xyz's um, but the chances are you probably want to rely on the secondary effects um in order to utilize them the most you've then got exo sister elaine uh return one exo sister card in your hand to the bottom of the deck to draw a card then if you control sophia you gain 800 life points Sophia is if you control another Exo Sister monster, you can draw one card. Then, if you do, um, sorry, and if you control Elaine, you gain 800 life points. So you can see how they operate in pairs. Um, all pretty good, to be honest. I think, in all honesty, the Elaine is probably the worst one because it, you, you put a card back to draw a card, but that can help unbrick you sometimes. Uh, whereas with the Sophia, as long as you control another um, Exo Sister, you just get a draw for free. So it's like, all right, cool. The XYZ and the most important one is the Miko Lease. So 2,500 attack, 1,800 defense, and it's two level four, so it is slightly generic. But if it's XYZ summoned previously this turn using an Exo System monster as material, you gain the quick effect to target a card your opponent controls and, or in a graveyard and banish it. Now, keep in mind that this basically says or means that it needs to be XYZ summoned that turn to have the quick effect to banish, which is why you want to try and trigger your Exo Sisters effects during your opponent's turn to get that banish. Can't be destroyed by battle with monsters that were special from the graveyard, and you can detach a material from this card to add an Exo Sister spell or trap from your deck to your hand. We've then got uh, Capstalil. So Capstell is if you XYZ summon this card using an Exo Sister, you can activate this effect. For the rest of the turn, neither player can special summon monsters from any graveyard. So that's kind of cool. Can't be destroyed by battle with monsters that are special from the graveyard. And you can detach one material from this card to add an Exo Sister monster from your deck to your hand. So again, you can kind of see how these two kind of have the best of everything. They've got the banished disruption. They've got the protection from battle. They've got the add a spell. They've got the add a monster as well. Then we get into Jabrine. So if it is XYZ summoned previously this turn, so again, the same as the Mikalise, you get a quick effect to target an effect monster your opponent controls and negate its effects for the rest of the turn. Can't be destroyed by activated monster effects from monsters that were special from the graveyard. And you can detach one material from this card. For the rest of this turn, all XYZs you control gain 800. So it gives you an aggressive beef for all of your XYZs during your second turn, but it also has that quick effect to disrupt during your opponent's turn as well. And then the last one is the Yusufel. If it is XYZ summoned using a sister, uh, you can activate its effect. For the rest of the turn, neither player can activate any card effects in any graveyard. Can't be destroyed by activated monster effects special from the graveyard. And you can detach one material from this card to target a monster your opponent controls and return it to the hand. Obviously, the last of it isn't a quick effect, but it does give you that ability to kind of bounce or out one of your opponent's issue cards. Then onto the spells, we've got that um, Exo Sister Amento, which is a quick play spell. And you get to only activate it during your turn unless your opponent controls a monster that's special from the graveyard. So you kind of want to play like 
uh, Genosaurus, or is it Generex, which basically lets your opponent bring a monster back from the graveyard. That would be kind of, you know, that means you're always going to be able to activate this during your opponent's turn, but you are giving them a free monster. So you pay 800 life points, then target an Exosister monster you control, and special from your extra deck, an Exosister XYZ with a different name from the monster you control by using that monster you control as material. Now, you probably want you want to go for is probably going to want to be your Mikalise and your um, Capstell to get you your monster or the spell. Now, obviously, if you go to Capstell, you will then get the ability um, to special, where is she? Special Elise, and that will let you can kind of continue your plays as well. So we've gone through Jabrine, we've gone through his fell, uh, we've gone into the spells, and now we'll move on to the second spell, which is your Carpadel. So Exosystem monsters you control cannot be targeted by monster effects that were specialed from the graveyard. If you XYZ summon an eco uh, Ecosister or Exosister, you can declare one card name. For the rest of the turn, they get the activated effects and the effects on the field of cards with that original name. So it's kind of like a prohibition, which is really kind of cool. Uh, when an attack is declared involving your Exosystem monster, you entire one spell or trap. Um, your opponent controls and destroy it. You can only use the second and third effects once per turn. And you can see from the artwork, we've got this like demon bear bat thing. So hopefully we're going to get another boss monster, which also appears in the trap card. So the trap card is again a normal trap, so it can be searched out or set with trap trick, which is cool. So you pay 800 life points for the rest of this turn. After this card resolves, you cannot special summon monsters from the extra deck, except exosystem monsters. Also special two exosystem monsters from your deck. So the first name is listed on the second's text but shuffle them into the deck during the end phase. Uh, this card down here is Ties of the Brethren. But the idea would be that you would summon out in pairs Elise and Stella, or you would summon out Elaine and uh, Sophia. So that's kind of how the trap card works. You can't summon out like Sophia with um, Stella, and you can't summon out Elise with Elaine, for example. So E and an S, not two E's, not two S's, uh, and you've got to make sure they're part of the same kind of pairing. But I still think the trap card is really cool. I think this art type in general is really kind of cool as well. Um, I'm looking forward to it. I think this is obviously going to have a little bit of wifey tax on it. I think this is going to be the sort after deck. I think of all the three that we know so far, uh, or the, all the three that have been revealed, um, I think this is probably the more playable one uh, because there are a lot of decks that rely on banishing stuff from the graveyard. Now, obviously, um, as with the rest of the art types as well, they are very reliant on your opponent. Most of them require... Um, so the second one needs you to have a token. This one requires you to banish from the graveyard or your opponent to banish specifically. Um, so I don't think they're going to be meta changing or meta defining. But I still think these art types are pretty cool and fun to play around with. So I can't wait to see what more we get. I think each of the art types is still due to have like three cards to be revealed. Uh, and we can kind of go from there. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share. Till next time, guys. As absolutely always. Stay safe, and of course, happy dueling. Looking to pick up your very own custom sleeves? Well, look no further. Go to yourplaymat.com where you can choose to have your very own image on the back of sleeves, or you can choose from their amazing range of pre-designed artwork ready and waiting for you. Get them shipped directly to your door and use the affiliate link and discount code down below to get 10% off. What are you waiting for? Go and grab your custom sleeves from yourplaymat.com.